Hey you guys, it is Monday. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I had to um pause and think about that. But today is Monday and uh the title I don't really I don't really know if I have a title for this, but mm -mm -mm -mm. it's coming from Genesis 37, you guys know that has to deal with um with Joshua and the dreams and the and the plan that God placed on his life and how that um got interwoven with his family. So what I got from it, starting from you know the beginning of 37, is when Joshua started saying, Hey, guess what? I had a dream. And this is what was gonna happen in the dream was that my stock is gonna grow so high and then you guys stock gonna you know bow down to mine and you know he was just running off at the mouth of this jury because he probably didn't see a problem with telling his family he was like you know you guys will understand I don't you know I don't think he was really boasting so much I mean he might have but at the same time he probably thought that you know he probably felt comfortable enough to tell the people closest to him about the plans that God was revealing to him in his dreams. And sometimes God ain't actually do all that. But, <laughs> you know, we do it anyway. And and so what I gathered from that was when too, pe too many people or the wrong people know your dreams and what God has planned for you, your life, they will literally plot to either kill your dream or you so that your dream won't come to pass like they try and kill your dream before it blooms or they'll try and kill it at the root by coming directly for you and as for friends family co-workers it does not matter especially if they see that your dreams will place you in a higher in a higher position or whatever um than them than them you know as, as humans we like to think in hierarchy even though God all has a plan for everybody's life and everybody has an individual um, blessing upon it that we all choose or not choose to well that's some good light I'm sorry <laughs> can either choose to walk in it or we can choose not to walk in it that's, that, that's on you that's on your um, personal relationship with God and whether or not you choose to follow your, through with your assignment or you choose to ignore God. At the end of the day, God's plan is going to go through whether you want to participate in it, whether you want to participate in it or not. Um, and just let, let's go to 3723. Like they will try to take from you what they think makes you special so when they took the uh they was like let's take this coat this jacket of many colors off of him and then rip it up and then so we go give it to give it to our father and you know cover with blood and so he'll know that you know he's dead like an animal killed him or something but they it, it i think it was um mentioned specifically that they ripped the coat off of him because the coat was a physical representation representation of the blessing on his life so you know if i could take what i see from you then you know you you're still you're nothing you're nothing now but here's the thing here's the here's the um key your blessing is not wrapped in the things that are around you. Your blessing is not wrapped in um, your clothes or your cars or your job even. You know, the things that are adorned with you. When God places a blessing inside of you, it's inside of you. So whether you have that nice coat or not, the blessing on your life is still there. So, you know, people may attack the physical things and aspects around you. They may try and take those things from you. They may try and steal your money. They might try and steal whatever, but they can't steal a blessing that God gave you because it's for you. That's a spiritual thing, not a thing of this world. So they go attack the worldly things around you thinking it's gonna bring you down, but no, they can't really touch what God has for you because that's of a spiritual realm. That's of a spiritual nature. Um, and everything that God does, he's does doing it in the spiritual realm. You know, you may see the effects of it in the physical, but what he's doing is all spiritual. You know, that, that coat was just a worldly representation. In addition, you know, a representation of being blessed, but it was not the blessing itself. 
Uh, where else was I going with this? My notes, my notes. Oh, and Genesis, going down to Genesis 31, 29. You know, Reuben, his brother couldn't even help Joseph. He couldn't help him because um, man can't save you. That's God's job. If God has a plan to lift you up, it's going to be God that's going to lift you up out of that trouble. And, you know, if he was able to, you know, we like to try and get other people to put their hands in it. And, you know, Joseph may have even been looking for Reuben to help him. But God was like, I got you. I'm going to pull you out of this. It may not look like it, but I have you. So you don't need anybody else to put their hands in what I'm doing. Y'all have a blessed day.